the heavyweight champion of the world. And his young fighter, 17 years of age, Mike Tyson. Today, he fought another young fighter, not a polished fighter, but a man of tremendous slugging ability and a man who showed some improvement as a boxer. You'll see all of this for yourselves when we take you to second round action, exactly as I called it, between Mike Tyson and Henry Milligan of Princeton. All right, the bell for round two. Remember heavyweights. Tyson to your left, just 17 years of age. Milligan the Princetonian. Now to the left of your screen. And Sarah Fast quickly cautioning Tyson. Get them up. Get the lows up. Milligan can take a punch, though. I'll say that, regardless of what the Cuban did to him in Reno. Tyson appeared to me in the first round to be tired, just 17, having fought last night. And D'Amato has worked him lightly the last two weeks because of a back injury. Tyson is such a terrific puncher. It's smart for him to go to the belly as he began there with the right and then up with the left because he can paralyze you with those blows to the belly. Kid is a bull. He's built exactly like a bull. There's no question about it. Milligan only slightly less so. Now Milligan showing some boxing. That's the instruction he got in the corner between rounds. Stay away from him. Use that left jab. Double up on it and then pop the right. That's exactly what the corner told. Milligan has never showed the boxing skills to do that kind of thing. But right now he's doing well in the boxing sense. Second round action with a minute 35 left to go in the round. Cautioning Tyson again. The crowd roars in disapproval. You saw Milligan trying to jab that. It was a pawing jab, but at least some kind of boxing style. And then he came in with a decent enough right. I can't believe that Milligan... as you saw, and quickly in to call it, properly so, Marco Sarafax. What action in this, the second round. It was two minutes, 19 seconds, as the referee stopped the contest. So the young man from Princeton, superbly skilled in academics, and a brilliant all-around athlete, continues for whatever reason his quest to be a fighter, but that quest grows more and more questionable. This will be the final knockdown. There's the right lead again, holding on Milligan. And finally, that right short, right chopping uppercut, and boom, down went Milligan, and it was over. Referee stops contest, and young Mike Tyson moves ahead, winning his semifinal match in these, the 1984 Olympic trials. All right, back again in Fort Worth, Texas, and Cus D'Amato. One quick question, Cus. He's just 17. How good is he going to become? I think he's going to be heavyweight champion of the world one day. 
Does he need a lot of work on his boxing he skills? Well, he needs a lot of experience, a lot of fights. He's only had, I believe, about 18 to 20 fights, most of which have ended in the early rounds. So it doesn't constitute a great deal of actual experience. He's far beyond his experience. Were you worried during the course of the fight when suddenly Milligan was scoring with some evidence of boxing basics? No, I wasn't worried because he wasn't hitting cleanly. I know he's a good puncher, but he wasn't hitting cleanly. Mike, as I turn to you, my young friend, how do you feel about what you did today, and how far do you think you've come in your career? I came a long way past, um, and one year I progressed a great deal, just winning the National Golden Gloves, and now coming in this in the semifinals, and planning to win the whole tournament. Um, and about the fight, I was a bit rusty because I had a bad slight pinch nerve in my shoulder, and I wasn't sure, but I, just, I wanted to win the title so bad, I made myself heal, and now I came in, I'm having fun. And now the dream is Olympic gold. Yes. Good luck to you, Thank Michael. you very much. It was just a stirring performance. Great Thank comeback. And you